Hello and welcome to Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Jason, and today I will be showing you how to install this rear seat hitch with a safety bar included, part number HITCH-17, on this 2014 EasyGo TST with the Super Saver seat kit installed. Now let's take a look at the tools needed for the job. The tools that you are going to need for this installation today are a 17mm socket, a 13mm socket, 3H drive ratchet, and a 17mm open inner wrench. Let's begin with the installation. Now the first step of this installation process is you have to remove the foot plate from the cart. To do that, you have to remove the two bolts on the passenger and driver side that attach the foot plate to the armrest, and the two bolts that attach the foot plate to the vertical supports in the back of the cart. To do this, you're going to need a 17mm open inner wrench and a 17mm socket. Now when you are removing the two bolts in the bag wall area, here and here, it's going to be a good idea to support the foot plate with either jack stands or a jack, something of that nature, so that way when you loosen them up, it doesn't fall down on you. Now that you have the foot plate removed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foot plate and flip it over and set it up on top of this rear seat cushion just so you guys can see exactly how this rear hitch is installed. Now before you can install the hitch onto the foot plate, you have to remove the hardware from the hitch and remove the receiver from the hitch as well. Now when you are installing the hitch onto the foot plate, you want to make sure that the mounting brackets welded on the hitch here and here go inside the rails on the foot plate here and here. Now the next thing you want to do is line up the bolt holes and use the hardware that we took out of the hitch. Now when you're installing this, you want to make sure that you have the lock washer installed first. It's located here onto the bolt and then your larger flat washer. And with these four bolts, we just want to get them each started by hand, then we can come back and tighten them up. Now when you're tightening these bolts up, you're going to want to use a 13 millimeter open end wrench or a 13 millimeter socket. Now the first thing you want to do is line up the bolts that attach the foot plate to the rear of the cart and the vertical supports lined up with the mounting holes on the foot plate. Once you have that done, we're going to install the flat washer with a nylock nut and we're just going to hand tighten it for right now. And now we want to do the same thing on the other side of the cart. Now your next step is to reinstall the foot plate supports onto the handrails and then we can line up the mounting holes to the foot plate and get the hardware inserted. Again, we're just going to be hand tightening this hardware for right now until we get the other side installed and so we can tighten up all the hardware. Now that we have all the hardware in place and it's hand tight, we can tighten it up using a 17mm open inner wrench and a 17mm socket. Now that you have the foot plate attached to the cart and all the hardware is tightened, your next step is to reinstall the receiver into the hitch. Once you have the receiver installed into the hitch, that's going to wrap up the install of this rear seat hitch with a safety bar, part number HITCH-17, on this 2014 EasyGo TXT golf cart. Thank you for joining me today at Rock's Garage. Please enjoy safely.